will record this. So starting from now, we will record it. Sorry about that. Thanks, Imagery, uh, yep. So this is where you can put your profile picture, uh, your agent picture, your market center logo. So again, Keller Williams Realty for Richfield and Keller Williams Prestige Properties for Stanford. Uh, if your team has a logo, you can put that here and then uh, your social media information. Now, uh, one thing that it will error if you don't put the S, so you want HTTPS here, um, you need this full URL, otherwise it will not work. So that is there, yep, uh, it has been recorded. So put in whatever information you have, if you have a Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, if you do not have something, it doesn't matter. Uh, now there is, you may get an error when you click save and continue. So I just wanna show you guys that. Um, please mention in the chat, when you hit save and continue, what happens? If you get an error, please let me know in the chat. Um, and if people are getting errors, I will show you how that should be fixed. Just put what error you get if it happens. Otherwise I'm gonna move on. I'm not saying anything so now you get to choose whether the, you do the red theme or the dark theme um, that's basically what the highlight colors are going to be on your website whether they're going to be red or or a darker color Tama where do you get the Facebook URL uh, so that's every URL Tama that's a great question how do you find these things uh, let's see if I can go back here let me just click back real quick. Um, so if in your marketing profile, it does ask for your URLs. Um, so when you go to your website, so for example, mine is uh, facebook.com slash McHugh Real Estate. Um, that is just the URL that would be up here in your Facebook page. So uh, if I click on, if I go to this and I'm not logged into Facebook, this is the URL for my business page, right? So when I'm on my business page that I've created, you just go up to the top here and you grab, you copy and paste this, and you, that's what you put in there. So you can use yours. If you don't have one, I don't recommend putting one in there. Um, I would recommend just um, uh, waiting till you make one. Uh, don't put the office one because ultimately you're, this is to drive traffic to you, not to the office. So I would um, grab yours from your Facebook business page. And that's where you're getting that. Great question, Tamara. And click save and continue. Uh, okay. So homepage text is the information that's here. If you have a uh, catchphrase, uh, if you have a slogan, if you have something, um, this is just your text that goes on the top of this part here. Great question, Michelle. We're gonna to get to that in one moment. Uh, Jim, uh, I'm not sure where you are. Um, so Jim says, how do you get to the area to fill in the Facebook link? That is in the first section here um, where, where you enter your subdomain. If you click on your marketing profile information and scroll down, uh, it is at the bottom of that. Um, so, we're a couple steps in. I will, uh, if, if you're not to this point yet, I will show you at the end of class or if somebody wants to um, direct message him in chat to catch him up. Um, I'm not sure where you are in the process, Jim. So from here, um, then you scroll down. So Michelle, you asked the question, how do you upload a new image on the front? Um, it's this section here. Uh, Velma, great question. So you're scrolling down, but the left side's just going up and down. So um, you want to hover over the right side and then scroll. Um, there are two scrolling sections. So the left side is your preview. The right side is uh, where you edit things. So if you're on the right side and you scroll, uh, whether it's using your trackpad or your mouse, uh, that moves that side. Otherwise, it's the, it's the left side that, that moves. So now 
to answer, let's see, Michelle's question, um, how do you change the main photo? This section is where you change the main photo. So upload a, a homepage hero image. You're allowed to have five images. As you can see, mine are completely different than yours. Um, it doesn't show your new ones here, but these are the ones that will show up on the left side, or on the right, uh, on the main page. So you see, even though it shows this, these are what my images are gonna be. Now you're only allowed to have five. So if you upload five and then go to upload another, it, it won't upload it. That's all that's gonna happen is it won't upload it. Um, the other thing you wanna note is uh, it, there's no way to reorder these. So upload them in the order that, they, that you want them in if, if that is important to you. Um, for those of you who are high Ds, you might just upload them and be done with it. For those of you who are high Cs, you might take an hour getting the perfect order down. Um, so just understand that it will upload and it will be in the order that you upload them in. Uh, a couple of notes on this. Um, the images here used on the internet, you need to have rights to use them. So either they need to be images you've taken yourself or you've bought or you've gotten from a site that said you can use permission. Um, so don't just Google an image and put that up there um, because you could actually get into a, a tricky um, uh, a suit. We've seen suits against agents who do this. So just make sure that the images you, you find you have rights to use. Um, there are a couple of websites where you can get free stock images, pexels.com and pixabay.com. I put those in there. Although the best images are always gonna be your own. Um, sorry, Velma, I'm not sure. Um, try clicking on the right side and then scrolling. Um, I'm not sure if, um, if somebody else is having that trouble and wants to help Velma, shoot her a private message to see if, uh, if you can help her because um, she's having trouble getting the right side to scroll and you can't move forward with this unless you do that. Uh, Steven, if you look in the chat, I just put the two websites in the chat where you can get free stock images, um, Pexels and Pixabay. Uh, just be careful uh, that you... Um, just be careful that you follow their guidelines. I know with Pixabay, I believe you can do it without um, giving the author credit. I believe Pexels, you have to give the author credit, but you, they are free to use. Um, so once you upload those images, uh, then you can click Save and Continue. I'm just gonna go to my website real quick, just to show you. As you see, um, the logo and that I put here on the side, uh, it has my text as well as the background images that I chose um, to have in there. All right, so let's go back to the Kelly guide. All right, so now navigation, um, this will put whatever pages you have in there. Um, right now, you should have company profile, about me, and contact us. Um, if you don't, I'll show you where you can add other things later. Um, but these are the pages. So the company profile, um, it, we'll be able to edit these down in the content. But this is where you can change the order in the menu. Where that exists, and I'll click on my website, when you click on this, this is where that part uh, exists. So. I'm on the top, you'll see either your team name or your, your name as an agent, and then um, this will be where those are. Uh, Christine, great question. Do people have to create an account? Um, so uh, th that they are following for these websites um, best practices of, of uh, why people use Zillow. So there is no forced registration on these KW sites. Uh, this is, uh, however, to, to um, save a property, create a collection, save searches, if they want to do anything of any real substance, uh, they do need to create an account to do that. Um, but it does not force register. 
uh, because they are trying to match our site to have consumers use them like they would uh, Zillow. Uh, so, and Zillow allows people to be voyeurs for a very long time. So the forced registration does not exist on these sites. Great question. Um, search engine optimization, this is where you can go in and this is where you can go in and edit stuff, um, the, the, the different things that's in there, and then content, this is where you can change that content. So right now we're on the company profile, but um, there are these, and that's what we're working on. Um, you can hit continue or you can hit skip here if you don't want to do it yet. Um, you put in your information. As you can see, I haven't fully filled this out. Um, you can change your images to be whatever you want. Again, they can be your listings. They can be information. See, right now, this is downtown Austin because I haven't changed this from what Keller Williams has as default. I'm going to hit continue. Take your time to fill that out. You have plenty of time to do that. Um, it moves on to the next page, which is the About Me page. Um, so again, all of these things that you're working on here is what we're working on right now. And you don't have to do this right now. You can hit continue. You can hit skip. Um, do this at your own pace. You can always come back to the Kelly Guide in the future. I'm going to hit continue again. It's on the contact us page. I'm going to click save and continue. And once you finish those three pages, um, this is where you, uh, that's when you're, you're done. Your site is now launched. Um, and you can go to it at your subdomain that you set up. So for mine, it was mcq.aw.com. Now, if for some reason you go there and the changes are not there, I will show you there's one place where we can check that. So I'm going to leave my Kelly guide and you leave the Kelly guide by hitting the X or by going to one of these things. Now, um, I'm going to send this in a link, but there is the steps to setting up your, your site. I will send you a link to that. Um, as well as an FAQ that you can have and reference at any given time. Um, but see here, these are things that you can get at uh, site FAQ, go to site settings or create more sites. Um, and I'll show you this manage sites where we can go to this in uh, command so that you don't have to go through the Kelly guide every time you want to do something there. My pleasure, Christine. So I'm gonna leave the Kelly guide. I'm gonna click the X and it should bring us back out to command. Now, taking a little while, it's loading. So if you guys went through this whole thing and your branding is not showing up, uh, we're gonna show you real quick why that might be the case uh, and we'll, you have to go into your marketing profile and turn on your branding. So real quick, remember at the beginning of your class, I mentioned that there's a marketing profile that you can work on. I'm going to show you where that marketing profile is. Uh, Christine, will it connect to our MLS? Yes. Uh, it actually connects to all the MLSs in the country um, from the Smarter Agent feed, and it's the same as your app. So uh, yes, it gets your MLS data through IDX, and it's a national um, property search, not just a local search. So I'm going to go over here to um, under my name. If I click on this and I go to settings, whoops, it's misbehaving today. You know, there's another place. All right, that's not that's misbehaving. So I will let's take a step back, guys. That is not working for some reason. Um, Let's go back to our consumer site page. So remember on the side profile, you wanna click on your, your consumer site, which is the little website with a person next to it. It's called consumer. From there, and it's loading, we're actually gonna to go to the site and app settings. Um, give it one moment. Okay. I'm not sure if my internet's being slow or if it's command in general. I, my Mine is slow as well. Good. Okay, thanks. All right, here we go. So 
from here, you might notice that this use my information to brand my agent site is turned off and it looks gray and not green. So if that's the case, um, you need to toggle that on to get your information on the uh, your KW site. Whoops, what just happened? Went away. Here we go. So, and the reason why Keller Williams does that is they recognize that agents may take a little while to get their all their information collected. And so if you're not 100% there and for some reason you would be out of compliance for your local state, they make it look just like a generic Keller Williams site. So um, if you want to leave it toggled off until it's the way you want, it will just look like a generic Keller Williams site. Um, it will still be your site, but it will look like a generic Keller Williams site until you toggle that on. So if you want to take some time to get your site the way you want it with your branding, uh, for the main core things, you can have that turned off for now. Now, we did go through the Kelly Guide. So as you can see here, this is all the stuff that we had set up in the Kelly Guide is, is available here. Um, so you can change your site hero text. Um, it doesn't pull in what you have, but it is there. As you can see from my site, go ahead, find your dream home is there. Um, so you can go in and edit these things, edit the images, um, put your app landing page information, um, and I'll show you how to get there. You can edit all this. Um, if you click on URLs, this is where if you wanted to change your subdomain, you can. I wouldn't recommend it once you start marketing your domain. Um, however, if you did need to change that, you could change it here. As you can see, they're adding in the ability to do custom domains in the future. Um, right now, that isn't an option, although you can redirect your domain um, to uh, your website. Um, that will be in the FAQ, how to do that link that I send you at the end of this call. If you want to send people your mobile app, and now understand that your mo their mobile app login is the same as their agent website login. So if you have a consumer that wants to use your mobile app, they can also use your site and vice versa. Same login, sorry, not agent, uh, consumer wants to use your app. So you have these options for sharing your app here. Then theme, again, this is just the, the light and the dark. I chose the red theme, you can choose the dark theme. Um, you can change that here. And then site pages, you should have the three you have that you set up in the guide, about me, contact us, and company profile. Now you cannot edit those here. You do need to go into um, uh, the, the Kelly guide to edit these. So just be aware of that, but you can change the page title and the SEO right here. You can add SEO um, about it here. Um, uh, about your, your page here, okay? Agent site options, this is just that initial screen that remember when we first went to the Kelly Guide, um, which site you wanted to use, and then you can access the Kelly Guide from here as well. So that's, that's what that, that is basically your uh, site and app settings here. Now, up on the top, remember, we had the three things, landing pages, agent site pages, and guide builder. Um, now that we're done in the settings section, we're going to click on agent site pages. And this is where all of those um, things that you have live, this is where those all live. Um, you can't edit them here. Again, you have to edit them in the Kelly guide. Uh, so that's either in configure your site or if you scroll down to the bottom, you have the configure your site here for the Kelly guide. That's where you have to edit those. So just be aware that those three pages are um, only editable in the Kelly Guide. Now, if I want to create a new page, up on the top corner is create a new site. Now, before we go there, um, does anybody have any questions on what we've gone over so far? You're muted, so either press spacebar to unmute or type it in the chat. Hey Joe, tell us again what on this page that you're on, what each of those um, is. Uh, on the on the top or in the on the this part here? Yeah, the, yeah on the left. Yeah. Your your arrow is great. So remember those three pages you were able to set up in the Kelly guide. 
these are those three pages. So I can actually click view and it will go to those on my site. Oh, um, so God. This, okay. Yeah. Now you can't edit those um, here. You have to do them in the Kelly guide. So just be aware of that. Um, as you can see, I didn't set this up yet. Um, I'm a bad, bad agent. I haven't set this up, but um, you have to edit those in the Kelly guide. Any so it's other just, page? That, it's like a preview. Yeah, it's just a placeholder. It helps. It helps yeah. give you an overview of what you've done. Exactly. Um, Michelle, does it automatically pull your placer site? Nope. Um, placer site. Uh, placer sites have been shut off. Uh, unless you uh, worked with Placer to keep them active. Um, that was, um, oh, so you're paying for it. Okay. Um, no, it does not automatically pull them over. Um, you would need to uh, move your site over. Um, depending on what you're using your Placer site for, uh, that may be a better option for you. Um, so that's a much deeper question than we have time for on this call. But what are you using your site for? Are you using it for active lead generation where you want people to force register? Or are you uh, simply want a, a page where your clients can go and interact with you? It depends on what you're looking to use it for. So it does not automatically pull your Placer site over, no. And it doesn't have all the features that, it ha that Placer has. Those are different sets of features. Um, and there are pros and cons to each. So just so you're aware, um, that's that's a deeper conversation for right now we can table that till the end of class if you would like okay so you just suggest keep the placer site for now which i have yeah de yeah depending on what you're using it for like if you're blogging if you're looking for for a lot of seo um uh ranking stuff like that placer does a better job than the kw site for right now okay. um they will be adding blog features and they plan on it they've said in, um, you know, don't quote me on that, but uh, they had talked about adding blog features to the site for a while. So um, if you're going to blog, Placer is a, is a, a solid platform for that. Um, and it's the most agent friendly uh, platform for that um, versus if you're going to do, um, you know, build your own versus all that stuff. I mean, there are a lot of options, but the Placer is really great for blogging if you don't want to spend a lot of time and effort in setting up a, a, a blog. Um, that's the real benefit of what the Placer site does. Okay. Thanks. All right. So now, okay, moving on, guys. Um, see up on the top here, it says create a new site. This is actually um, a misnomer right now in that you don't create a new site, you create a new page. And you can actually create two different types of pages. You can create a standalone page, which is a landing page and that will be completely separate from your website or you can create a site of a page on your site so i'm going to click on on my agent site i'm going to click create page and this brings up the page builder now once you learn how to use this page builder you can use it for both your agent sites and for landing pages because they work the same so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you real quick how to set up a page um, and then I, what I want to say is, guys, just go in here and play with this a little bit, learn how it works, and then come back with questions the next time we do a, a, a class on this, because it takes a little bit of, of learning. There's a little bit of a learning curve here, and yet it's, it's designed to be pretty straightforward if you just want to use these widgets. So I'm actually just going to grab the testimonial list widget and throw it on this page. And now it's gonna say widget not configured. I'm gonna change the name to testimonial page. And now I'm gonna scroll down and on the, on the right side here at the very bottom, it says configure widgets. So if you've added widgets to a template, you need to configure your widgets over here. It says testimonial list. Um, so I clicked on the configure widgets. Again, configure widgets. Click on the testimonial list and what do our clients say about us? Um, find out why people choose to work with Joe McHugh. So I'm just creating a quick little widget page, client detail, um, and you can add testimonials 
here. You can browse the ones you have and then hit save and apply. And now this is what, um, this is what uh, will come up on your site. And then I'm gonna hit save changes. Now this is gonna make it live. This is not gonna make it live. Um, I'm gonna click yes. Now it says landing page was created. But you see here how it's still gray. So that means it's not active on my website yet. So you can make pages and now you have to go and make them active. Now, a couple things to note guys, um, the ability to edit these here has been temporarily disabled. They are working on a new interface. Um, I'll show you where you can go and edit these in a moment. But if you see I have this testimonial page, it's not live. If I want to make it live, remember in the site and app settings, I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna click on site pages and I'm gonna add a page. And this is where I get to add that. So you see this, now it says I had this testimonial page I created. I'm gonna hit continue and I'm gonna call it testimonials and testimonials. So now, um, I'm gonna click save page changes and now it will show up in my website. You see, it doesn't show up here. I'm gonna hit refresh. I'm gonna click on this and now my testimonials page is here. And when you have your, um, when you have your uh, testimonials now, that is on your site. So go ahead, play with those widgets. That's how you add pages uh, to your website. Um, it's a two-step process. You have to build the landing page and then you have to go and uh, make it live within your site. So any questions on that? Widgets are not active for me to add. Um, you know what, Michelle? I'm not exactly sure what you mean by that. Um, Um, can you send me a screenshot of that page and let me? So, um, no, so you know how you grabbed it and, and dragged yes. it over to the the page? Yeah. It's not yep. allowing me to do that and save changes and the configure widgets. It won't let me. It's not allowing me to do anything. So Interesting. hold on. Let me. So okay, stay on the line here real quick. I'm going to create a new site. I'm going to click agent site. So we start with this. So right. can you drag it? Are you able to no. drag it or no? No, that's the thing. No. It won't let me, yeah. Can you drag any of them? No, nope. Hmm. Is, it, is anybody else having this issue? Yeah, it just doesn't, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> um, what kind of, and you're on, you have a Mac, right? Yeah. <laughs> are you in, are you in Chrome or are you in Safari? Um, I might be in Firefox, I think. Yeah. Okay. Can you log in in Chrome and tell me if you have that same problem? Okay. All right. Let, just do that and let me know and we can come back to this. That might be your issue there. Okay. Um, all right, guys. So now if you do want to ed edit these, um, so right now this is turned off. Um, so if you click on designs, yep. Somebody have a question? Nope. All right. And if you click on the agent site tab in designs, you have all of these site pages here. Um, and these are going to be your landing pages and your site. Um, if you click on them from here, this is where you should be able to edit them. So right now, that is the place you would have to go to edit them if you've already created the page. So it's in designs under, I'm not going to save any changes, in designs under agent site, this is where those um, exist. Um, so just so you are aware, uh, that is how you go and, and edit them if you've already created because the edit feature, um, they're just working on an interface change was taken away from the consumer site tab uh, for agent site pages. Any questions on that? Nope. 
All right. Um, I hear some. I hear somebody talking. It's amazing how all um, how integrated everything is. Yes. So they're they're working. That is the ultimate goal: is for all of the data to be fully integrated, um, so that it, it is um, connected and and you can grab and work from things in different sections. Um, it's obviously a process. It's a huge undertaking, and and uh, um, you know it's 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 getting there. It's awesome. Um, now, just a little note, guys. Remember how I said that landing pages you might not have any. So a landing page is just a standalone page. So if you click on this, it's it's just a, a page that is not on your website. So um, this is not pulling information because this is pending. But uh, if you see here, these are standalone pages that you can have on your website um, that you can have instead of your website. So you can build single property pages. Um, you can build all sorts of things as standalone pages. Uh, now, um, so that then they don't have to exist on your website, they can exist independent. So for example, an open house sign-in is one that people um, create uh, using the, the, the page here so that, uh, they can just have people sign in on their on their um, uh, at their open house. A um, couple notes on that: if you're going to do that, it needs to have you need to have Wi-Fi or cellular at the house. So for those of us um, who work in areas where there might be no cell signal, um, just be aware of that. Um, uh, the ultimate idea, though, is the building of these pages and the building of your agent site pages uses the exact same editor. So if you know how to do one, you know how to do the other. Um, and then the only difference is, is one is going to have your website header and one is not. It's just going to be um, existing on its own. So um, that's pretty much all we have topic-wise today, guys. If you have any additional questions, we have about 15 minutes left. Um, I am going to put a link right now um, to, uh, and I can send it in an email as well. Uh, this is the, the handout from KW on how to set up your site and then how to uh, agent site FAQ. So I'm going to put those both in the chat. Um, the first one is setting up your agent site and the FAQ is right here. So to make a new page live, great question. I'm not sure it says user, so I'm not sure if who that actually is. Once you've created the page, if you go to site and app settings and then site pages, this is where you could add a page right here and that's where you make it live. So you click add a page and then you pick it from the list and then um, you save the page, cha page changes and then it is live. So um, that is how you make a, uh, a page live within, within your site. Again, site and app settings, site pages, and then you add a page. And then once it's added and connected to your site, it will be live. Joe? Any other? Yes. Yeah. Hi. So um, can we have a placeder site on this site until? Um, yeah. Uh, yes. I don't believe you can still have the, subdo the KW subdomain. Um, because in order to continue having Playster, you pay for it. But you can keep your Playster site as long as you want. Um, I still use my market leader site um, when I want to do like lead gen capture. Um, so yes, you can have, I mean, if, if you pay for 30 other sites, you can have whatever sites you want. Um, this is just the only one that will be connected to your KW mobile app. Okay. Okay, but that's what I'm asking. So sh can we have a K um, placeder as well as this one? Yeah, you, I mean, you can, you can, yeah. There's, again, you're allowed to use third party and placeder is now considered a third party. So yeah, you can have that as long as you want, as okay. long as you're willing to, to write the check to them. <laughs> right, okay. Um, all right, so I put those two links in there. Set up your agent site is uh, the basically the first part of what we went over today, um, where you go in and you can set up your site. And then um, 
the, the second one I sent is the FAQs about agent sites. So if you wanted, um, those are the frequently asked questions that people run into trouble wise that they want to have answered. So you guys know how FAQ works. I don't need to explain that. Um, so that's basically class. We have 15 minutes left. If you don't have any questions, feel free to leave. Uh, if you do have questions, um, stick around and ask them. I'm, I'm here for, uh, uh, let's say the next 10 minutes so I can get out before the next class starts. Um, so it should show all listings from the start, um, because of the way the, the KW set it up. Um, if it is not showing all listings, uh, let me know, but it should show all of them. And if you do notice, um, listings missing, um, uh, you you need to have your, um, whoever is in charge of technology, maybe your assistant, um, team leader or your agent, director of agent services. Um, I don't know who user is, so I don't know which office this question is coming from. Um, but whoever, uh, if, if you notice listings not appearing that should be appearing, um, those need to basically go through proper channels. Um, so then that will work up the food chain to our regional tech coordinator, uh, regional tech trainer, and uh, he will um, alert Keller Williams. So I'm not sure which office you're with. So. Jason, okay, Jason Shea. Um, excellent. So, yeah, if you notice um, uh, listings are not hooked, coming in that should be there, um, you can shoot me an email and or shoot Deb Link an email, and just we need to get um, to the uh, it needs to get to the uh, RTT so that they can work on fixing that um, from their feed. Um, if you know anything about uh, data feeds, basically they're taking every MLS and pumping it into this. Um, so they working with as many MLSs are there across the country. Um, they're all they all operate a little differently, and sometimes um, they miss out. You know something is not tuned right on one feed versus the other. Uh, so the it leaps and bounds better than it was a month ago as they were making this transition, um, and yet they still want to be made aware. So you should be seeing all listings, and if you're not. Um, uh, let us know. Thanks, Joe. I have to jump off. My pleasure. Thanks for stopping by. This was great. Hello. Yes. Hi. Yeah. Hi. I um I show that I have created my own bio, but when I went okay. into the uh, site pages or whatever, it was it showed my name, but it showed that I was a part of a um real estate team out of Texas and, and a bio from a Texas agent named Nina. How do Interesting. I can you, uh, can you send me that's, let me see there. Let me see. Oh, uh, what's your subdomain? Um, it's probably Jennifer Davis dot KW dot com. Oops. I must have spelled something wrong. Um, so you, it, is it, it, does it say Nina? Is that what it, what it says? Is it's like yeah, Nina from Royal Realtors? Yeah, that's, 
that's the demo um, one. So when you are in your site and app settings, um, I, I'm not sure what screen you're on. So if you click on consumer and then site and app settings, is, is your toggle on gray or is it on green? The toggle right here. Um, I, uh, I'm a little technically challenged, so I don't know how to get there. Sorry. Okay. Nope, that's fine. So if you look at the screen that I'm on right now, you see consumer right here. Click on consumer on the left. It's, it's how we get to the, the main consumer section. And then over on the top right, you'll see um, site and app settings. Do you see that? I lost you. I'm not sure. Are you talking? Yes. I'm at site okay, and app so, settings. Okay. So now on the very top, it says, use my information to brand all agent sites. Is that look like mine or is it, is it toggled off? It's toggled off. Okay. Click tog toggle that on, click on it and turn that on and see if that solves your problem. If it does not, then then you'll need to send it um, an email to support because that should solve it. All right, I toggled it on. Yep. So now what do now I go do? to your um, so go to your website, which is your URL. If you actually click on URLs in here, tell me what your it says um, under domain name settings. What does it say your website is? Hold on, now I have another window that popped up. Oh, hold on, URLs. Um, URLs is not coming up for me. Is it, is it, what do you mean not coming up? It just doesn't open or? Oh, now, now the, uh, now the thing is spinning. So it'll come okay. up. Okay, now I'm here, yes. Yep. Is it Jennifer Davis? Is that what your subdomain is? Or what's the subdomain that it says there? JenniferDavisHolmes.kw.com. Okay, so that's your, that's your subdomain. So J-E... Uh, J-E-N-D-A-V-I-S. Oh, Je Jen Davis, it says. Okay, J-E-N, okay. D-A-V-I-S, Holmes.kw.com. Yeah, hold on. Um, so it should take a minute. It might take a minute, but now that you've toggled on that marketing profile, it should change that um, back. It should change that away from um, the from Nina? the Nina Royal Royal Realtors. Um, there, can I check so it? It's still sh well. It's still showing a generic site, so sometimes it takes a little bit for that toggle like to to take effect. Um, but now that that toggle is turned on, your information should start feeding to your site. Um, so just you know, if it give it a little bit of time, and if it doesn't um, come up. Uh, in a little bit, just just then you would um, reach out to support, but that should um, that should have solved the problem. Okay, I have one more question. What was the um, that thing that I toggled? What did it say next to it? Uh, the the toggle was use my information to brand my agent site. Right, because now it's toggled off again. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, so toggle it, and and. Um, it must not have taken for some reason. Oh, and go down to the bottom and click save changes. Um, All right, there's a window that says acknowledge and continue. Shall I click that? Yeah. All right, and then go down and save changes. Yep. This action will change your blah, blah, blah. Click yes. Yes. Yep. All right, thank you.
Yep. And, and just check your URL um, and every now and then, because it sometimes takes a little bit of time for that to, to just catch up. Like it might not be an instantaneous change. Um, but once that is, I'm, oh, I'm already seeing uh, your website pop up. Uh, if I click on Jennifer Davis, it does, I don't see anything about Nina. Great. Um, but there are a couple of things that you put in there, like you put a KW logo for your um, team logo. So if you look at that, it comes up next to the Keller Williams logo. So like okay. there are things that you might want to change um, based on when you off. preview your actual site. Yeah. Um, okay. And it looks like you put um, Keller Williams Realty as your team name. So instead of showing your name, it says Keller Williams Realty. So you might want to just take that out. So if you look, there are some things that you, you, you might want to change um, and then before you get ready to move forward. So, okay. yep. Thank you. Cool, no, nope. thanks for coming. And guys, uh, there is another Zoom on at 12. So I'm gonna have to stop this so that they are ready for that. Um, and uh, thanks for coming, um, feel free. If you shoot me an email, Joe McHugh, that's M-C-C-U-E. If you have any questions about this, uh, shoot me an email and I'd be more than happy to help you if it's something quick um, and that is not a support level information. I can't do what customer support does. So talk to you guys later and um, enjoy the rest of your day. Anyway.